Hey everyone, this is Paula from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me today I have this young lady who has started to develop some numbness and tingling uh, to the lateral side of her foot. Now, just to give you a little background history, she's 23 years old, had a loose body in this right ankle. She had that arthroscopically removed, but soon after had to take some weight off this leg put a little extra weight on this one, and then started to develop these issues down here. Now she doesn't have any signs of back issues. She has no radiculopathy down the leg, negative straight leg raise test, um, and no real increase in paresthesias when we straighten that out. But um, what we did notice is that she has a little swelling around this medial malleolus, okay and uh, she has excellent strength throughout the foot the big toe is strong she has good dorsiflexion inversion eversion plantar flexion everything looks good there when she stands up the foot flattens up quite a bit she gets a little extra stress and strain right here so what i did was a tenels test so i find that medial malleolus i go just behind it a little bit and i give it a decent little tap and we feel that start to tingle immediately in the fourth and fifth digits and the lateral uh, side of the foot, okay? So we have a couple different branches. We have one that comes down and controls the calcaneus and we have this plantar nerve which splits to uh, get the medial side and one that splits to get the lateral side. She said that right after that foot was operated on, she started to develop this significant swelling in here and that's when this really got a lot worse. And so, um, she has a positive tenels over here um, indicating that she has a tarsal tunnel syndrome, okay? So a couple things we're going to do to help treat this is we are going to improve her calf flexibility because this could definitely be better and when she's tight she has a tendency to turn the foot out when she's walking and that makes the medial arch collapse even more. You can see this, the, the swelling here. And you can notice this callus formation, that's another sign that she has a tight calf and she walks with the foot turned out a little bit. And that just forces that medial arch down. So we're gonna improve her calf flexibility. She's gonna use an easy slant for that um, three times a day. And then we're also gonna put her into an orthotic and get that arch supported on the medial side here so she's not collapsing so much. Therefore, the structures that help to support the medial arch aren't getting strained all the time and inflamed and irritated. Ultimately, hoping to decrease um, the swelling in that area, decrease the pressure on that nerve, and uh, hopefully this tingling will settle down. Um, if it doesn't, then we need to approach this with an EMG and uh, possibly even an MRI to see if there's anything else going on to the nerve on the medial side of the foot. Uh, we also mentioned uh, weight loss, so any, any amount of weight that you can lose can take some pressure off of the foot and ankle. And so I think if we add all of those things in combination, um, she'll be successful and do well. So uh, an example, a nice example of tarsal tunnel syndrome with a positive tenels and how to treat it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you tell your friends about us and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.